now. If they're scouting for every charm, you have no idea. Transformers, here we go again. We're back for another week of TF Trivia. This week, it's all about the one, the only Megatron. So we've got two contestants here today, Wyatt and Anthony. Super excited to have them. They're going to go head-to-head -head on some Megatron trivia. We want you guys at home to join in. Please comment your answers, subscribe, like, and be a part of the fun. And you can apply in the About section to be on the show if you want to be a contestant as well. But again, we've got Wyatt and Anthony here. I'd love for them to just introduce themselves, say a little bit about themselves, and then um, a quick plug for Anthony. Um, we uh, Anthony runs and is the creator of TF Reviewers, which I'm gonna put a link below for, but they have a huge collection, a big database of all Transformers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, TF Trivia is actually a part of it as well, about toy photography, and I'll let Anthony kind of explain some more, but Anthony, go ahead. Okay, so Transformers Reviewers, or TF Reviewers, is a channel on YouTube, which we also have website and social media for, and it promotes um, a number of reviewers, which does include stop motion, of course, Transformers uh, Trivia, or TF Trivia, uh, T Formers, which is a website dedicated to Transformers News, and uh, we essentially uh, come together to encourage uh, fans of the Transformers brand to... Um, patronize these sites that are honest, uh, dedicated fans of the Transformers brand, uh, because recently a, a lot have popped up on the internet where there's some uh, some things we don't condone with the Transformers brand. So we're, we're trying to say, hey, come to us. Uh, we're, we're the safe bet. Well, we, we obtain all of our stuff legally. And, um, you know, please check us out. So it's a uh, it's Transformers Reviewers on YouTube, and, and then, of course, you can um, check out our website, um, which is tfreviewers.wordpress.com, and then uh, social media is TF Reviewers, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Awesome. Thank you, Anthony. And yeah, we're going to plug all that stuff below. Definitely check them out. And like I said, TF Trivia is a part of that as well, uh, but they've got some great stuff. And then uh, Wyatt actually has a YouTube channel to plug as well. We're going to put that below, but Wyatt... Uh, how about uh, where you're from and uh, just a quick bit about yourself. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm Wyatt. I'm from Virginia. Uh, I like animating. I like making videos. Um, I'm, on, I'm a wannabe YouTuber, like Sean said. <laughs> Papa's link's on YouTube. Link in description below. That's all for me, though. Cool, cool. Well, yeah, check them out below. There's some stuff plugged. We're going to jump right into it. The contestants know the rules. 30 seconds on the clock for 15 uh, questions and then our bonus wager round. You guys know the rules. So let's get ready to play along. But here we go, guys. Question number one. Let's hit it. 2001 R.I.D. Megatron had been shown to have multiple modes throughout the show. How many alt modes did he have? Was it A, 9, B, 6, C, 10, or D, 8? The clock starts there, but this is in the 2001 R.I.D. Megatron. Um, he was shown to have multiple modes throughout the show. How many alt modes did he have? Nine, six, ten, or eight? And you guys at home, comment your answers uh, below. Let's see what you get. Tally up your points. And it looks like the boys here are ready. I'm going to stop the clock there. Okay, guys, why don't you hold up your answer? Let's see what you got for how many alt modes for Megatron. We had two answers for B. Yep. The correct answer for question number one is actually C, 10 alt modes, 10 oh alt modes. Oh my God. <laughs> I never, it's like, how do you get past six? That's weird, yeah. okay? Yeah, no, At that point, the toy just say, move this arm down, now he's a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I couldn't believe you guys put the same answer too. I'm like, oh boy, they're on to something. But I wanna see yeah. what you guys at home did too. Let's see what you put for that. But the correct answer was C, uh, 10 alt modes. Um, okay, here we go with another 2001 RID question. This is question number two. When 2001 R.I.D. Megatron made it into IDW comics, they didn't use the name Megatron. What was his name in the comic? Was it A, Megabolt, B, Gigatron, C, Devil Giga, or D, Omegatron? Clock starts now. This is in the 2001 R.I.D. Megatron. Once he made it into IDW comics, what was the name that he went by in the comic? Was it Megabolt, Gigatron, Devil Gig, uh, Giga or Omegatron? 15 seconds on the clock. Let me know when you guys are good to go. I'm Gucci, man. Good? Okay, these guys are flying through it. All right, for everybody watching at home, let's see what they put for the alternate uh, name of Megatron in the IDW comics. 
What did you guys put? Let's see it. We <clears throat> had two for B. Oh man, sadly, they almost had it, but the correct answer was B, Gigatron. Gigatron was oh. correct. <laughs> so they did, they got it right. Because I was going to ask if it was the uh, Japanese comic or the American or English one, but oh. uh, yeah, yeah. I think we stuck with the American comic on that. Is that what you guys right. have? Yeah. So uh, Gigatron, good job, guys. Uh, that is our first point on the board for both Anthony and Wyatt. And we're going to move into question number three. For you guys watching at home again, why don't you vote on who you think is going to walk away with the, the prize today and win and be uh, crowned high command? Will it be Wyatt or Anthony? Let's see what happens. Here we go with question number three. Animated Megatron had a helicopter alt mode when he was on Earth. According to the AllSpark Almanac, how many people can actually be in his cockpit? Is it two, five, four, or one? The clock starts now. Uh, Animated Megatron had a helicopter alt mode according to the AllSpark Almanac. How many people can actually fit and be allowed inside his cockpit? Is it two, five, four, or one? Always tricky number questions. It looks like Anthony's got his answer. Mm -hmm. Wyatt feels ready to go. Okay, we'll yes, stop it there. We'll stop it there. All right, guys, let's see what they put. So in the AllSpark Almanac, how many people can fit in Megatron's cockpit? Let's see. I got one, dude. Okay, we had two answers for uh, one, in, uh, which was D. And the correct answer is B, five. Five people could fit yeah, in the cockpit. It does not look like it. Like the, the, the front end kind of skews outward, so you assume one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh. Man, I just didn't choose B because it was going to be another B answer. But, hey. <laughs> that's how we trick them. That's how we trick them. But that's so funny that both of, you, both of you guys, this is the second one, they guessed the same answer. I want to see how you guys did at home with that. So five, according to the AllSpark Almanac, there were five people. Okay, we're moving into question number four. Uh, Wyatt and Anthony both have one point on the board. They both have their 50-50 still in play. They can use it any time. Here we go. In Transformers Cyberverse, who was the bot that Megatron killed in his most famous gladiator match? Was it A, Bruticus Maximus? Was it B, Sky Shadow? Was it C, Blackout? Or D, Devastator Maximus? This is in Transformers Cyberverse. Who was the bot that Megatron killed in his most famous gladiator match? Bruticus Maximus, Sky Shadow, Blackout, or Devastator Maximus? Okay, 15 seconds. It looks like they're probably ready to go. And for those yeah. for those of you at home, jot your answers in the comments. Let's see how many points you guys are tallying, uh, tallying up. Here we go. Question number four. What did you guys put for uh, the bot that Megatron killed? I see an A and I see a B. So we had a Bruticus Maximus and a Sky Shadow. The correct answer for four, the bot that Megatron killed was D, Devastator Maximus. Devastator see, Maximus. I was like, no, that, that, that seems too obvious. I had to go for the less obvious one. <laughs> Uh, you guys are doing great. You're doing great. These are some, I've noticed as the rounds go on, the questions keep getting uh, trickier. So we'll see how, you're, how you guys do. And for everyone at home, I want to see how you guys are doing. Here we go with question number five. And here we go. When Action Master Megatron came out, he came with his own tank to sit and ride on. What does the tank transform into? Is it A, a battleship? B, a space jet? C, a battle station, or D, a mobile suit. This is um, when Action Master Megatron came out, he had a tank that he could sit and ride on, but what did the tank transform into? Was it a battleship, a space jet, a battle station, or a mobile suit? And it looks like they're ready to go. They still have their 50-50s, mm -hmm. but they're hanging on to them. They're hanging on. Yeah, well. Okay, we'll stop it there. And let's see what they put for what Megatron's tank transformed into. We had a D and a B. So for question five, that was a uh, uh, either a space jet or a mobile suit. And the correct answer, they're just dancing around it, was C, a battle station. A battle station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all right. Okay. So we're going to move into question number six. How are you guys doing at home? Did anybody get that right? Let's see how you did. Anthony and Wyatt both at one point. And here <laughs> comes question number six. It's all about Megatron today. Here we go. Before Beast Wars, Megatron was given his T-Rex mode in the cartoon. 
What animal was he originally in the toy line? Was he an alligator, an iguana, a bat, or a wolf? So this is before Beast Wars. Megatron was given his T-Rex mode in the cartoon, but what animal was he originally in the toy line? In the toy line, was it an alligator, iguana, a bat, or a wolf? Looks like Wyatt had his answer. Anthony's ready to go. We're gonna stop it there. Okay, let's see what you guys put. Alligator, iguana, bat, or wolf? What did you guys have? We had a C and an A. I so, know which other A was T, man. Okay, so the votes were alligator or a bat. What do you guys think at home? Let's see, the correct answer was A, alligator. Alligator was the correct Ooh. answer. Okay, good job, Wyatt, good job. So we've got Wyatt moving up to two points on the board. Anthony's looking to steal that second point. And we're gonna move into question number seven. I wanna give a nice shout out to both Anthony and Wyatt's backgrounds today. Anthony's got a cool display going and Wyatt's got some Transformers on display as well. Looks good. Oh yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so here we go. Question number seven. Here's a fun one. Uh, under the Takara Tomy Arts brand, what video game console did Megatron turn into? Was it A, a PlayStation? B, a SNES, uh, SNES SNES? That one might uh, be a little older than I am, so I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Uh, C, a Commodore 64? Or D, a Sega Genesis? The clock starts now. This is under the Takara Tomy Arts brand. What video game console did Megatron turn into? A PlayStation, an SNES, a Commodore 64, or a Sega Genesis? And you guys can rip me in the comments for how I pronounce uh, an SNES, S-N-E-S. <laughs> okay. All right, these guys are good. Let's stop it there. All right, for everyone watching at home, what video game console did Megatron turn into? Wyatt, Anthony, what'd you guys put? We D. had a D, we had two for D. Because yeah, and... I think Optimus was the PlayStation. Yeah, Optimus was the PlayStation. Nice, okay. Optimus, we had Optimus as the PlayStation, but in fact, these boys were correct. D, a Sega Ooh. Genesis for Megatron. A Sega Genesis. Let's go, Anthony. Nice. So, Anthony up to two points now. Wyatt up to three. They're going strong. Two 50-50s in play and moving into question eight. In the 26 hour long marathon promo special from the Hub Network channel, Megatron uses some sort of pretender technology to test out. What did he turn into? Was it A, a Care Bear? B, My Little Pony? C, a Strawberry Shortcake? Or D, a Pokemon? So this is in the 26 hour long marathon promo special on the Hub Network channel. Uh, Megatron, what did he turn into, a Care Bear? A My Little Pony, a Strawberry Shortcake, or a Pokemon. Okay, I love this one. I love this one. Okay. Let's see how you guys are doing at home. Tally up those points. And for Wyatt and Anthony, what did you guys put for question eight? We had two Bs for a My Little Pony. Okay. And what did you guys put at home? Jot it in. And it looks like the correct answer for what Megatron turned into was... A, a Care Bear, a Care Bear. Ooh, Hasbro Care owns Care Bears? Wow. Yeah, I, yeah I, I thought I thought because Hasbro owns them. Because it just, because, uh, yeah, Hasbro just released the uh, Pony Prime, which I was like, well, okay, that makes sense. Yes, yeah. I saw that. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have, what do they have? They have Care Bear, they have Pony. Do they have Strawberry Shortcake? That I don't know. No, no. I know they definitely don't have Pokemon. Yeah, they don't have Pokemon. Yeah. So, okay. Good job, guys. So it's a little rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> You heard it here first. TF Trivia is rigged. No, it's not, it's not rigged. Okay, good job. Anthony at two, Wyatt at three, and moving into question nine. In the Transformers uh, manga, there was a group of Megatron clones that were created by Galvatron to overwhelm the Autobots. How many did he create? Was it six, three, seven, or four? This is in the Transformers manga. There were a group of Megatron clones that were created by uh, Galvatron to overwhelm the Autobots. How many did he create? Six, three, seven, or four? And it looks like they've got their guess. Still two 50-50s in play. Question nine. All right, for everyone at home, let's see what Anthony and Wyatt put. Let's see, boys. We had a D and a C. Okay, so we had an answer for seven and four. The correct answer for how many uh, clones did Galvatron create? 
it was actually A6. Six clones, Ooh. six clones. The number of questions have been tricky today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're moving into question number 10 and I'm gonna do a quick plug for our sponsor here today, Handsome Comics, back at it again. We love these guys. There's gonna be a link for them below as well. A great online comic store. They're actually gifting the prize today for the winner of the contest. They do some great stuff. They actually had some fabulous Pokemon cards that I've been super stoked about. Um, they do comics and toys and a little bit of everything. So check those guys out. Okay, question number 10. When asked about why Megatron from Energon was not called Galvatron at first, designer Aaron Archer explained it was due to trademark protection. But what other name did he want to call the Energon Megatron figure? Did he want to call it Megatron 2? Galactic Galvatron, Galvatron Imperius, or Super Megatron? The clock is gonna start there. This was, what did Aaron Archer explain? Uh, what, uh, what was the other name that Aaron Archer wanted uh, Energon Megatron figure to be called? Was it Megatron 2, Galactic Galvatron, Galvatron Imperius, or Super Megatron? 10 seconds Can I use my 50-50 here? Yes, we got one 50-50 in play. Anthony, do you feel confident? Oh, hold on. Let me ask you a question. If yeah. you go through 50 50, does it make it one answer? That's a good point. That's a good yeah. point. I, I want to know because if he's going to do 50 50, I'm going to do 50 50. I just want to know what the point. <laughs> so that's funny. But because I haven't done it in the past, that's a great idea. But for the past episodes, it has happened. So we're going to do two 50 50s at once. It's going to bring it down Ooh. to um, two answers. But I think they have a pretty good shot of getting this. So let's see what happens. Two 50 50s. They got 30 seconds left on the clock. And this is um, uh, Aaron Archer was going to name Energon Megatron figure what? Was it Megatron 2 um, or was it C, Galvatron Imperius? So A, Megatron 2 or C, Galvatron Imperius? And it looks like they've got a guess for us. Okay, we're going to stop it there. So two 50-50s used. They had the option of Megatron 2 or Galvatron Imperius. What did you guys put? Put. Okay, we had we had a vote for each. So one for Megatron 2 and one for Galvatron Imperius. The correct answer was Galvatron Imperius. Galvatron Imperius. So Anthony stole a point on that one. And we're all tied up. We've got three to three with Anthony and Wyatt. 50-50s have been used. And we're moving into question number 11. Just a few questions to go. And then we've got our big wager round coming up where they can wager their points to, to steal the lead. But right now they're tied. So here we go. Question 11. What is the name of Megatron's mini con in the Armada show? Was it Thunderwing, Leader One, Ramjet, or Inferno? This is what is the name of Megatron's mini con in the Armada show? Thunderwing, Leader One, Ramjet, or Inferno? Okay, how are you guys doing at home? Please subscribe, like, comment. It helps the algorithm. We want to get as many Transformers fans here as we can to watch the show. So tell your friends to come along and apply in the About section if you want to be on the show. We'd love to have you on the show. Okay, guys, let's see what you put. So this is question 11. What is the name of Megatron's mini-con in the Armada show? What'd you guys put? We had two answers for B, Leader 1, and they're back. Leader 1 is the correct answer. Two Ooh. more points on the board. Let's go, baby. Great job. Because, uh, because Lira 1 was a GoBot name, I believe, and then they used it to keep the uh, trademark in place. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. Great, great guess, you guys. So, uh, yeah, so that was Leader 1 was the name of Megatron's Minicon in the Armada show. How many of you guys at home, did you guys get that one right? Uh, Anthony and Wyatt both took that one home. And here we go with question uh, number 12. In the IDW comics, what was Megatron's original ambition in life? Megatron did have other ambitions, folks. Let's see what it was. Was it being a teacher, becoming a medic, writing poetry, or senator status? I think this is just a brilliant question. In the IDW comics, what was Megatron's original ambition in life? Being a teacher, becoming a medic, writing poetry, or senator status? Okay, let's see what these guys put for that. We'll stop it there. We had a C and we had a D. So we had one for writing poetry and one for senator status. I love all the answers here, but the correct answer is actually B, becoming a medic. Becoming a medic. Oh, wow. So before Megatron was ripping the throats out of many, 
he wanted to be a healer, a medic, so. Definitely a 180 there. Yeah, <laughs> something happened, we don't know, but. Uh, okay, great, good job. Uh, 13, we're gonna see if these guys can come back on question 13. We have Anthony at four points, Wyatt at four, here we go. What was the name of the arc in the IDW comics where Megatron switched sides and became an Autobot? Was it Dawn of the Autobots? B, Days of Decepticon? C, Robots in the Skies? Or D, Dark Cybertron? What was the name of the arc in the IDW comics where Megatron switched sides and became an Autobot? Dawn of the Autobots? Days of Decep uh, Decepticon? Robots in Disguise or Dark Cybertron? 15 seconds on the clock. Chat your answers at home in the comments. Let's see how you guys are doing. Tally up those points. And who do you think is going to take the win today? Is it going to be Wyatt or Anthony? We'll stop it there. All right, boys, what did we put for question 13? We had an A for Dawn of the Autobots, and we had a C for Robots in Disguise. And these guys love... Dancing around the answer, it's D, Dark Cybertron. Oh, dark Cybertron. Oh, I almost went there, but it seemed too dark. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. All right, they're doing great. Okay, two more questions left, and then we got the wage around. Here we go. It's all tied up. In Transformers Prime, what was the reason that Megatron started the war? Was it he couldn't get his freedom? He lost his warrior status. He was rejected, uh, uh, rejected to be a Prime or arrested for his actions. So in Transformers Prime, what was the reason Megatron started the war? Was it he couldn't get his freedom, he lost his warrior status, was rejected to be a Prime, or arrested for his actions? Okay, let's see how you guys are doing at home. It looks like these guys are ready. Go ahead, guys, let's see what you put for. What was the reason Megatron started the war in Prime? We had an A and we had a C. So we had an A for he couldn't get his freedom and a C for reject, rejected to be a prime. The correct answer is C. I don't know if that's backwards for you guys. C, rejected to be a prime. Good job to Wyatt, okay. All right, so we got five points for Wyatt. Anthony with four, it's still a tight lead. We're moving into our final 15th question. I wanna see how many points you guys have at home. Uh, here we go, question 15. Throughout the Beast Wars and Beast Machines show, Megatron's signature catchphrase, yes, is said constantly throughout the show. How many times did he say it? <laughs> I love it. Okay, guys, this is a fun one for you at home, too. How many times did Megatron say the signature catchphrase, yes, throughout Beast Wars and Beast Machines show? Was it A, 166, B, 208, C, 129, or D149. Let's see what they put here. I'd love to see how you guys do at home. We threw them for a loop on this last one. It's all about Megatron today, and Megatron loved to say yes because those are some high numbers. All right, guys, let's see what you put. Final question 15, Wyatt and Anthony. We had a C. We had two C's for 129 times. The correct answer was. A for 116, 116. But it was a bit of a shot in the dark because that was that was definitely one of the trickiest questions I think we've had. So believe I it. I feel bad for the person who had to like watch all these episodes just to come up with that. <laughs> yeah, right. right. So um, good job. Okay, so we are left with Anthony at four points, Wyatt at five. I want to hear in the comments. Do you guys love Megatron? Are you a fan of Megatron? Are you on the Autobot side? Jot it in the comments. We're jumping into our final bonus uh, round wager question. Again, it's the most important question I have for the two contestants here today. How many points do you guys want to wager? They can do zero, they can do all, or anything in between. Let's see, what are you guys thinking? Four. Okay, we're doing all four for Anthony. All five, homie. We're doing all five for Wyatt. It's go big or go home here today on TF Trivia. All yes, right. Sir. So you guys know how this works now. We've got our wager round. It's a fill in the blank. They've got 30 seconds and we're gonna see if they can come up with it. They can either win or lose these points. Go ahead at home too and jot your wager amount in the comments and you guys can keep track of your points. Here we go. Megatron had a very close friend who was killed by a group of hostile humans, which sparked the G2 wars. What was the name of Megatron's friend? Clock starts there. This is Megatron had a very close friend who was killed by a group of hostile humans. This sparked G2, uh, the wars in G2. But what was the name of Megatron's friend? 
Can they come up with it? They've got 15 seconds on the clock. The points are wagered. And we're gonna see what happens. And today the winner is going home with a nice little gift from Handsome Comics. Check them out below. Check out Anthony and Wyatt uh, TF Reviewers and, and Wyatt's YouTube channel as well below. All right, guys, we're stopping the clock there. The big bonus question. Anthony wagered all four points. Wyatt uh, wagered all five <laughs> points. Let's see how they do. Um, I believe I've whipped this. <laughs> Oh, you're not the only one. Oh, okay. Wow. I, you know, I've never, I've never crossed what might happen if you both go down to uh, zero <laughs> points. It might be left with the. I, I gotta think it through. I gotta think it through. Okay, let's see what they put. Let's see what you guys at home put for the bonus question. What was Megatron's friend? Let's see it. Oh, we had an answer for Shockwave and an answer Nexus for Prime. Nexus Prime. So Anthony put Shockwave. Why I put Nexus Prime, the correct answer for Megatron's friend for the bonus round question is Kiloton. Kiloton was the correct answer. Would have never guessed. <laughs> so that actually... Well, anyway, to make it easy on you, um, uh, Wyatt actually can have the prize. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say, this is new for us on TF Trivia. It's the first time the contestants have wagered all the points. We're down to zero on the board, but... Anthony made a very nice decision, and also Wyatt had originally the five points, so one point ahead. So I think we're making the right move here. Wyatt, congratulations. Congrats to you both. But Ooh. Wyatt, you're going to walk away with a $50 gift card to Handsome Comics, so you can use that Ooh. at your uh, uh, wish and will. I'm going to email that to you after the show, and their link to the website is below. But guys, thank you again so much for being on the show. Check out TF Reviewers. Check out Wyatt's channel. And for those of you watching at home, we'll see you next Tuesday, but please subscribe, tell your friends to come, like, comment, and please apply to be a contestant on the show. We've got some more special guests coming. Let's have some fun. Thanks for stopping in for Megatron. And until next time, roll out. Don't have a chance. Sleepy, the black blood of all cars have turned into robots. It's worthless to me now. If they're scouting for Energon, you have no idea.